Hello everyone, welcome to the next video, Crossing the Bar by Alfred Lord Tennyson. This is a simple poem with deep philosophical undertones resulting from the poet's old age. This poem shows a clear attitude of Tennyson moving towards the close of his life, marked by sunset and the close of the day. However, we notice an accepting and placid attitude towards death. His idea or the concept of death is very well echoed in one of his quotes that finds quite relevance in this poem. His quote is, as I say or as I quote, Old men must die or the world would grow mouldy, would only breed the past again. The poem begins on a melancholic note. Very clearly, we, the readers, get the idea that there is an end or an impending death and in this case, it is that of the poet. This poem can be read uh, as a time, written at a time uh, when he was recovering from a serious illness at the age of 80. Then uh, this an interesting fact about this poem is that it was written at a time uh, when mm, uh, it was written at a time not only when uh, there was a, not only was there a crisis in the Victorian period but also the significant phase uh, was that um, it was exactly three years before his death. So, in one way, we can say that uh, this poem seemed to mark the beginning of the end of his days. Uh, there are some prominent themes that have been used here, uh, that is of death and time, because uh, both uh, is interrelated to the other, because uh, with the cycle of uh, life, with the cycle uh, of time, with the passage of time, uh, there is the inevitability of death and once death approaches, it marks that uh, your time, uh, your, your time spent on earth, your life, uh, the time that you have spent with life is nearing its end. So here, uh, without wasting much time, I would like to start on uh, simply with this poem. As this is a short poem, uh, it will not take much time for you to uh, read the text, but the philosophical undertones, uh, the uh, depth uh, and the emotions that are involved, uh, that highlights not only the crisis of faith, that uh, was echoed during the Victorian period, witnessed or experienced by the poet, but also a uh, time when he was recovering from his illness. So death in either way can hint at the death of the poet himself and also mm, the death uh, or the marking of uh, the new death of the old beliefs uh, or the marking of the uh, era of new beliefs, faith and so on. Sunset and evening star and one clear call for me and may there be no moaning of the bar. So the poem begins on a melancholic note as I already told. Death and beginning of another life after death. So, uh, it, it means that the part of the dead, because soul is part of the body and once the life has left the body, uh, the soul is alive. The body may not be of any value, but it is the soul that is still alive, which embarks on a later journey, which we will find being echoed towards the end of the poem, which in fact marks the complete cycle that the poet has begun with the first line itself. So here we see that the soul is alive. Sunset and evening star, these two words go hand in hand, both are parallel, that marks the end of the day and the end of the life. And one clear call for me. So here it hints at the easy acceptance of the end of life for the poet and call for me, the call of death, the call of death and the call for death, 
which means marks the which marks the uh, end of life he is as if nearing his end and may there be no mourning of the bard here he uses the word the poet here uses the word may with lot of care may here means desire or wish mourning of the bard bard here is the symbol of death bar refers to the sand bar it is a geographical structure which forms uh, around the mouth of a river or extends from a spit by slow deposition of sediments carried by the current over millions of years so this is the structure of the sand bar and this fact you will see becomes a very significant here when tennyson writes about the high tides and the low tides this signifies the highs and the lows the changes of the religious faith tennyson has thus carefully chosen the subject of his poem while talking of death while marking the end the simple words uh, that uh, he uses in a distilled way highlights the complex ideas of the physical and the spiritual nature the intermingling of the physical and the spiritual nature and this understanding of the structure of the sand bar is very important uh, when we are trying to talk of not only uh, the poet's uh, death but also the death of the victorian beliefs Uh, which marked uh, which was marked by the advent of the scientific uh, and uh, the new concepts and beliefs which was difficult uh, for the people like uh, tennyson uh, thomas hardy matthew arnold to accept which is also echoed a lot in their poems so he is telling here that here the bar, bar the sand bar is the symbol of death when i put out to see so the poet wishes that when he moves out of his life and set out to death there should be no pain or mourning but such a tide as moving seems asleep so the tide here refers to the movement while undertaking the final journey so once we get through the literal meaning of the poem the literal death that the poet is talking about his own death that he is mostly referring then we will shift on and focus a little bit on the ideas uh, and the concepts of the victorian uh, faith and beliefs the crisis that happened uh, that was prevalent during that time so he does not wish to experience any kind of pain or any kind of mourning while he is undertaking his journey of the death and he wants to travel to the land of dead uh, dead or the travel to the land of death uh, like a tide which is asleep which is not rough which is not causing any amount of fuss as he expresses quite clearly in the next line itself too full for sound and foam so tennyson hopes that his death is smooth silent and without fuss so the tide the journey will be very smooth without much noise without much chaos when that which drew from out the boundless deep turns again home so here in this lines there has been the use of enjambment in these lines the poet compares the cycle of life to that of the water cycle where each returns to the source just as the water evaporates from the river reaches the clouds uh, and again comes back to the river out of uh, in the form of the rain similarly the poet tennyson is also telling uh, or is also trying to express that uh, a life had begun from god uh, if we can uh, unquestioningly accept tennyson's belief in christian ideas then uh, his according to his ideas according to his notions and like many other victorian poets during that period also that uh, life began from god and it should end in god so god uh, or uh, the place where it began is the home so god is home and when he is telling that turns again home he tries to talk of the returning to 
uh, his home is returning uh, to his homeland so death is like a homeward journey for the poet twilight and evening bell and after that the dark and may there be no sadness of farewell when i embark for though from out are born of time and place the flood may bear me far i hope to see my pilot face to face when i have crossed the bar so twilight here signifies the darkness that is about to set in the transition period he is also hearing the evening bell the bell hearing of the bell you can to also uh, talk about as hearing of the death knell but it the hint is quite subtle because death knell as if is uh, sounding like a warning bell here the evening bell or death is on a more subtle note he has accepted it and it is through the atmosphere that his contemplative mood is highlighted so in the next line he is talking of the setting in of the night with night there will be darkness and most of us relate night and death to darkness because that is when our visibility is uh, hindered we are not able to see clearly at all without light there is nothing that is visible to us and once death sets in we do not know what is happening we do not know we cannot relate or narrate our experience of death and may there be no sadness of farewell he feels the poet feels that uh, that there should not be any kind of sadness any kind of mourning when he departs from life and when he departs from the people who are related to him they should not or he should not leave them on an unhappy note he while he is undertaking his uh, journey he feels that uh, it will probably mark a new beginning as we read this line when i embark so he is undertaking the journey and that journey will probably mark a new beginning this again hints at after life and the immortality of the soul for though from out are born of the time and place the flood may bear me far i hope to see my pilot face to face when i have crossed the bar in these lines he is telling that he or the poet or the speaker has accepted the inevitability of death and hopes to cross the boundaries of time and place and go beyond and this beyond may hint and uh, this beyond hints not only at after life which suggests his christian belief in after life but it may also hint at heaven according to the prevalent notions uh, during that time flood here flood hints at death when death comes in all at once just like the flood of emotions that we express so often where we are overwhelmed uh, by the setting in of those emotions pilot here refers to god the divine a christian theme in many uh, contexts also you will find a pilot may refer to halam his friend uh, whose death had moved him so much that many of his poems um, talk about the death of halam and uh, uh, on a mythological note it may also refer to the ferryman who transports from the land of life to the land of death so uh, there are many interpretations but uh, here uh, the in, uh, the indication of the hint at god the presence of the divine his desire to meet the divine a uh, christian theme is evoked once again where he wishes to uh, stand uh, face to face uh, and look into the eyes of god when he has crossed the bar when he has crossed the threshold of life gone beyond this life Trans, uh, has been transported from this limits of time and place and gone beyond that realm where he is at one with the pilot the uh, one who has uh, so long been the driving force of his life our lives the final line marks his acceptance of death and his hope to see the divine he also hopes that uh, Uh, there will be uh, there will be a kind of unity with uh, with the divine when he reaches uh, that particular realm of space 
interestingly one thing that i would like to tell here while i was uh, talking of twofold for sound and foam uh, it refers to a, a calm sea wave so the calmness uh, of the sea wave uh, can be uh, compared to the calmness of uh, death that uh, so once uh, sets in uh, that once ex one experiences the boundless deep in the poem refers to the sea uh, here the poet has used allegory it is here that the poet believes that he will go after his death into this boundless sea the uh, sea where uh, the depth cannot be measured the immeasurable depth so this final line that turns again home in the uh, following this line completes the entire cycle of the poem's first part which is equal to the part where tennyson talks of the water cycle which is again compared to the life cycle so this entire poem is like a cycle where it begins with the sunset where it begins not with the birth but begins with the death and ends on a positive note uh, not only here marking the break at Uh, turns again homeward completing a cycle yet the yet again the cycle repeats in the last lines marking a positivity interestingly if you uh, have read or come across the poem uh, the um, because i could not stop for death by emily dickinson you will find that there are lots of similarities with the concept of death between emily dickinson here and also with uh, the poet tennyson here uh, tennyson is talking about the previous notion the previous stage before uh, death sets in and in uh, because i could not stop for death by dickinson she talks of her journey with death in death's carriage so uh, the literal meaning the some things that i would like to uh, talk to you about the reference during the victorian period is that uh, when he is hearing the call when tennyson himself is hearing the call uh, the significance the symbolic significance uh, is like the call of uh, the new world that has set in that has marked the end of the old age values and the old beliefs and uh, with the new age beliefs and concepts that is as if calling him uh, putting an end putting uh, the old beliefs to death and uh, making these new beliefs to be born amidst these people amidst the poets and people during those and uh, living during the victorian period uh another thing that is very important while he is talking about the boundless deep is that uh, in this in this in these two words boundless deep there is an unknown eternity it is in this word there is an unknown eternity and it is uh, like the home of the soul which one must cross he is very eager to cross and we he see here that he is referring to crossing the threshold crossing the bar over and over again the christian notion of the ephemeral nature of life and the eternal after life is that is the true home of the soul is very clearly stated here and uh, this is something that is a uh, typical uh, usage of language or you can tell typical tennysonian so once you see these lines you understand that uh, it is actually written by tennyson even if you don't accept it or if you are not uh, uh, quite aware of the title of the poem the flood the flood that uh, we spoke about as the overwhelming emotion or the overwhelming effect of death that uh, sets in you can also uh, view it as the representation of faith the high tide of faith which will drown the dangerous sandbar and help him to sail away so it may uh, again refer to the uh, drowning of the treacherous beliefs the drowning of the old beliefs with the setting in of the new beliefs the old beliefs will be washed away the threshold will have to be crossed for allowing of the fresh set of values the freshness of uh, the new life that is uh, that the new life promises to bring and uh, 
uh, towards the end by before i end this poem i would like to say that towards the end uh, we see that he is willing to see the face of the creator see the face of the pilot who uh, drove his life all along uh, his stay on the earth this idea is found in the book of corinthians which describes the certainty of meeting the creator face to face uh in the afterlife the idea of god being the pilot of one's ship or one's life is a, a recurrent theme in christianity and the intermingling of the physical and the spiritual realm is quite clearly stated here this crossing of the bar this crossing of the threshold that is uh if you are asked to justify the title of the poem this crossing of the bar or the cross, crossing of the threshold is very significant because uh this is a time this was written at a time uh when there was a constant hovering or constant oscillating movement between faith and doubt between holding in of the uh, trying to hold on uh, very strongly to the old concepts to the faith uh, to the old notions and uh, whether again to accept the credibility or uh, of the setting in of the new notions which threatened to shatter this faith so these prominent themes have been explored quite clearly throughout the poem uh, there is not much difficult words that have been used here uh, with the exceptions of just one word that is born which you may not have come across earlier however um, if you uh, remember these key concepts or key themes of death time and the interplay between the two i'm sure it will not be quite difficult for you to understand the poem so um, uh, that's it that brings us to the end of the poem i hope you have understood it quite clearly if you have any doubts or confusions do let me know in the comment section uh, we are available in uh, telegram and instagram also um, feel free to comment and if you want me to discuss anything more make sure that it reaches to me and i'll make all efforts so that i can also reach out to you uh, waiting for the uh, next video Uh, i hope you will uh, support me likewise and uh, please do subscribe like and share if you haven't already because uh, once we reach the 100 mark uh, i hope to surprise you and uh, since you are a part of the family i uh, of the one stop all poetry solution it will be great pleasure for me to share with you the surprise that i've been planning for so long uh, that's it for today uh, thanks for watching this video happy learning